As humans, we've always strived to create, to build something that will solve a problem or meet one of our needs. How would you feel if you could hold some of your designs in your hand? And they went like, that, that's impossible. And I said, well, let's assume it is possible. I'm not a designer, but you know, now that I'm seeing the possibilities of this technology, you start to see the world differently and you start to reimagine the objects around you. People are taking the power of creation into their own hands. Boom, open up your little skull, pull out your idea and create it. Like that's what Shapeways does in a nutshell. 3D printing is a way of making things element by element additively. The things that we're designing, you can't make them any other way. I can make objects bigger, smaller, stranger. There's no limit to the variation you can apply. And I suddenly realized how much I was restrained by a lot of the technologies that were around before. When something new comes to this home, she asks, have you bought it or have you made it? You know, if you look around us, we can buy any product we need to do whatever we want. What's missing, however, is our personal input into those products. We have an idea, and then in the mail, the idea comes sort of as, a, as an object, and like, that's never existed before. As a designer, you can concentrate on, on making the best object, the best product that you can, and Shapeways does the rest. So we can make one of something and test it out, and all of this doesn't make any difference because there's no tooling, there's no molding. There's no investment for a designer. It means also you can innovate faster. There's no penalty for innovation. This gives rise to a whole new way of solving problems. It's mind-blowing to think that we can build something today that was literally impossible yesterday. <laughs>